Resistance Training, bringing you another video. Today's video topic is, what are my thoughts on creatine? Well, we'll get into it. This is back and chest day and arms. So I just finished up with six sets of bench presses and immediately after the bench, I go for weighted chins. So let's do a set and we'll talk about creatine. All right, a set of five with 25 pounds. First set. All right, it's pretty cool out here. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's about 37 degrees, so it's a little chilly. So let's get to it. What are my thoughts on creatine? I think creatine is a terrible supplement. And if you go online and try to find anything negative about it, you'll be surprised. Everything is positive across the board. It, it improves mental clarity and health for older people. It puts on muscle. It puts on strength. It's got a shitload of benefits. But I'll tell you something. Back in my younger days when I was doing my karate, I tried creatine when it first came out and it didn't work for me so obviously I thought well maybe it's just me but as I started to uh, talk to people here and there a lot of people got some strange side effects I knew a kid that uh, one of the gyms I used to go to and he said that uh, he had severe kidney stones after starting creatine he never and he was a young relatively young man he was like 26 and uh, now I'm not saying that creatine causes kidney stones, of course not, but it's just a weird coincidence and I've heard many other people. So here's my, here's my thought. Creatine is uh, an amino acid, I believe, that once taken, it shuttles a lot of water and glycogen into the muscles, helping it to get stronger. A lot of people that are on creatine, and I've witnessed this, after an initial phase of maybe two or three weeks being on it, they do get bigger. They get bigger muscles. They fill up. I, I talked to a, a, an older man and he's, he was in his 50s and he said his bicep went from 15 and a half, like mine, up to almost 17 in just three months of being on heavy creatine. He got off the creatine and he says all he said he was just having nausea and diarrhea from it so he quit it and he said within two months because it stays in the body within two months he said he had lost all his gains so here's what i'm going to tell you the type of training i do is for myofibular i train for myofibular muscles that is real muscle well they're all, it's all real muscle but myofibular is actually the strands of muscles increasing a lot of these guys that you see doing a lot of hypotrophy work are bigger they get bigger and they look good and i'll bet you 75 to 80 percent of them are on creatine take the creatine away it's the same thing as being on steroids they all say oh be natty be natty get rid of your creatine and live and train the body the way it's supposed to with just food and just a basic one a day vitamin and maybe some fish oil. That's what I do. I take a multi and some fish oil. That's it for the omegas, for inflammation. Okay, so that's my thoughts. I think it's a terrible supplement. I think it's in the long run, uh, I think it's gonna just be bad for overall health. I think it's terrible. Let's do another set and then we'll finish up. Actually, I got uh, four more sets.
Set two, 25 pounds, set five. All right, I do anywhere from five to six sets of these. Usually when I get to the fourth and fifth set, I'm only maybe able to get four and then three and then maybe a couple of onesies and then I cut it loose. Then I go to tricep extensions and then easy bar curls. All right, so my thoughts on creatine. Terrible supplement, anyone that's young, you want to get bigger, stay the hell away from it. We'll talk to you soon.